Hi guys. Welcome to part 12 of my huge shortcut series teaching you how you can link your existing digital planner, notebook, or template using shortcuts to a whole bunch of cool things. So today we're on part 12, add view all, option one. What this does is this. All right, so I already have this in my planner. You can put this anywhere you want. Remember, you can put this anywhere you want. That's the whole point of the series is giving you control. And this is what it's going to let you do. When you tap that one link, it's going to give you a list and it's going to say which one. Do you want to add a calendar event, add a reminder, view events, or view reminders? And that is pretty cool. And this is option one. So option one, when you tap on view reminders, is going to pull up reminders that you have from a specific list. And then when you tap, you can either just look at it and then leave. Or if you tap on it, it'll bring that up and, and slide over the reminders app for you. I do have a version two. It's called Add View All version two. And that'll be the next video. And what that will do is you can um, view your reminders just like this, but when you tap on it, it'll mark it as complete, okay? So that's the next video, but we're doing add view all one today. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is if you haven't already, you're gonna wanna make sure you watch that overview video. It has a lot of information in there that I'm not covering today. So watch that and then go to my website. On my website, um, you're going to want to find this shortcut, this part. You're going to want to read the information. We're already watching the video. And then step three, you can either, um, oh, I didn't say this, but the website works with this um, video. So they go hand in hand. Okay. So step three is you can create the shortcut yourself. And then there's um, screenshots on here. So that way you can um, follow along that way if you prefer. Or you could do step four and you can just download the shortcut onto your iPad into not onto your iPad, but I mean into the shortcuts app on your iPad. And then we will set it up together from there. So the link to do that is right here. But before you, um, and you'll need to copy and paste that into your browser. But before you do that, you're going to want to go into settings and go into shortcuts and click on private sharing and allow private sharing. And that just allows the shortcut to be installed into um, your shortcuts app. Okay. So this is add view all one. Let me find it. We are almost done. I'm very excited. Okay. <laughs> Add view all one. Now, when you've pulled up the shortcut, you're going to see these yellow boxes and those are my comments. And so wherever you see that, it's going to tell you to do something. So um, the first box is just telling you what this does. So the first comment says, be sure to choose your app where it says open app. So you're going to want to open, it says open app. You're going to want to tap on that and select good notes. Now again, these all work in GoodNotes, Note Shelf, and Notability, but we're going to set it up in GoodNotes. And then um, later on, if you're a Note Shelf or Notability person, you're gonna there's a special video for you to watch because it's done a little differently. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is the next comment says, this is set up to choose your default calendar. If you have multiple calendars, you'll be able to select a specific calendar when you actually add the event, okay? So don't worry about it. You don't actually have to do anything here. Um, there's a little drop down menu and it says calendar. And so it populated my default calendar, which is family. Um, you can tap on that and you can change your um, calendar if you want. You don't have to, okay? So um, just keep that in mind. So I'll just select Erica just for heck, just for, that's fine, okay? But you don't have to. You can change that on the screen when you run the shortcut. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is 
run the view upcoming events screen. So it says below, you have some options. One, where it says start date is in the next two months, you can change the number and the time period. Okay, so you can tap on two, give it whatever you want. You can do months. You can see seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, or years. It's up to you how you want the whoopsies. I didn't want to do that. Um, so start date is in the next. I have it pre-populated to say two months, but yeah, you can change that however you want. All right, then now where it says calendar is calendar. What did I accidentally? Wait, what did I do wrong there? Whoa. Now where it says calendar is calendar, you have two options. Okay. If you want all events displayed from all your calendars, click the button to remove this action. I see. <laughs> That's right. So, um, so if you want all your calendar events to show, this is viewing the events. So if you have multiple calendars, like I have multiple calendars, okay? So then if I wanted all of those things, then I would click the minus button, all right? Um, if you have a specific calendar that you want displayed the events from, then tap on the second calendar to select the calendar you would like. For example, in my case, it would say calendars family. All right, well, actually, it's going to say calendar is Erica, but whatever. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so if you want, first, the, the first thing you're going to change is how many months, years, days, weeks, whatever. You can change this little bit, okay? If you want all of your events to display from all your calendars, you're going to click on the minus button, right, to make this go away. But if you just want all of your events from one specific calendar, you're going to want it to say calendar is and then choose that calendar. Okay. All right. So now the next thing below where it says list is reminders. See how it says list is reminders. If you have a specific list you would like to choose, select it below. So if you do, like mine, we'll select Erica list. Okay. That's what you want to change there. Now, otherwise, it'll just say list as reminders. That's the default. Okay, so now select the reminders app below and be sure to select it to slide over. So we want it to open reminders and then the drop down, you want to make sure it's slid over. Again, if you've just um, downloaded this shortcut onto your iPad, it will already have that done. Now select the name reminders, the same reminders list you chose earlier. Okay, so the reminders list I chose earlier was Erica list. So it says open reminders. We don't want that. It won't work. We want it to match and say Erica list. Okay, so now we've filled everything out, but we want to test it to make sure it works. So you're going to go up here and click the play button. All right, so which one? Add a calendar event, add a reminder, view events, view reminders. Let's view events. Those are the events. Yay. And I don't know if you know this, but you can view your events and then if you want, you can tap on anything and then it'll take you to your calendar. But sometimes it's just nice for a reference when you're filling out your planner, okay? All right, so we know it works. Now, what we're gonna wanna do, oh yeah. <laughs> um, We are going to, do you see the link URL? You will enter in your app is shortcuts equals blah, 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 name equals add view all one. Okay. You want to make sure that add view all one matches add view all one up here. Um, it will match if you download it for me, but if you've created your own, you just want to make sure that this and this match exactly. Otherwise it won't work and the link will be broken. Okay. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go into um, GoodNotes. Now, if you again, if you are a note shelf for Notability or somebody else, I have a separate video for you. So stop watching and you can go watch your specific video, how to get the link into your note taking app. OK, but we're in GoodNotes, so we're going to do this. So we're in AdView All. 
And I highly recommend that um, you make a master list of all your shortcuts like I have. So I have all of my shortcut names that I'm using. I've created the links and then I just copied these and added uh, icons that I wanted to use. So that way it's just easy. Anytime I need to use it, I just use my lasso tool. I come on over, I copy, I paste it, you know. I don't have to keep going back into the shortcuts app and doing things. It's just all right here. It's just very convenient. It'll save you time in the long run. Trust me. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna add the link. So tap and hold, press and hold um, to add link and you want to link to a website and up populates GoodNotes. So we wanna delete that and we wanna paste in the link that we copied. So it says add view all. So then you're gonna to wanna to click return. And if you don't click return, it'll probably take you back to that GoodNotes link. So you just need to do it again. And now we're just gonna verify that, it, yep, it says add view all. Do you wanna proceed? Yes. Just want to verify everything's working okay now you can take um so these icons over here are all free um there's a zip file on my website you can just download them if you want um you can use whatever you want um i have a little icon for add view all and then i would paste the icon over the link just to kind of clean it up make it look a little better and then i'm going to circle with my lasso tool everything copy it and here we'll put it here paste all right and there we go now we're testing it cool all right so that is how this works and the next video i'm going to show you how to add view all option two and so option two will be in the reminders everything will be the same except for in the reminders um when you view the reminder you'll be able to mark them as completed in good notes all right so thanks for watching guys have a great day bye